At Google's spring launch event, Google I.O., we were introduced to some new innovative hardware, the Pixel 7a, Pixel Fold, and Pixel Tablet. There was also an incredible focus on artificial intelligence. If you're wondering if these devices or these new technology are worth your time and hard-earned money, we've got you covered. First, let's start with the new hardware. First up, the Pixel 7a. The 6.1 inch OLED display now comes with a 90 Hertz refresh rate. It's scratch resistant as it's built with a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 display and is designed with recycled aluminum, glass, and plastic. The 7a is available in four colors, charcoal, sea, snow, and a Google Store exclusive, Coral. One of the most notable features of the 7a is it's powered by the Google Tensor G2 chip, the same chip that the flagship Pixel 7 and 7 Pro use. The Tensor G2 is the next-gen processor custom-built for Pixel that powers Google's machine learning and speech recognition, photo and video capabilities, and so much more. To get the same chip that runs Google's flagship devices at this price, $499, is incredible. And of course, you can't talk about a Pixel phone without mentioning the cameras. The Tensor G2 powers advanced image processing, allowing users to take better pictures in low light, fix blurry photos, and erase people or distractions you don't want in your image. The Pixel 7a also includes super res zoom and for the first time in the A series, long exposure. This immediately has the potential to become one of the best phones you can buy for under $500. The long-awaited Pixel Fold has finally arrived, and it is stunning. The thinnest fold yet, both when it's open and when it's folded, offers 120Hz refresh rate with a 7.6-inch folded screen display. Intentionally built with Corning Gorilla Glass Victus on the outer screen and an IPX8 rating for water resistance, the Pixel Fold is meant to be a durable device. Inside, the Pixel Fold is powered by the Google Tensor G2, just like the 7a, 7, and 7 Pro. Again, this is Google's most powerful chip and allows the Fold to intelligently run apps to enhance multitasking and entertainment. And speaking of multitasking, that's any Fold's claim to fame, right? Well, no different here. The Pixel Fold allows you to work in two apps side by side thanks to split screen. You can even drag and drop images, videos, links, and text from one app right into another. Something has to fuel all of that multitasking, and it's the Fold's 4,821 milliamp hour battery doing just that. Google says the Fold's battery can last over 24 hours and even up to 72 hours when you turn on the extreme battery saver feature. Finally, we can't forget about the camera capabilities. The Pixel Fold has an ultra wide lens with five times optical zoom and up to 20 times super res zoom. The Fold even offers the best selfie you can capture on a Pixel device with a rear-facing camera that uses a 48 megapixel camera. You can get your hands on a Pixel Fold in either Obsidian or Porcelain for a starting price of $1,800 for 256 gigs. That's the same price as Samsung's Galaxy Fold 4 if you're comparing. Next up, we have the Pixel Tablet, a 10.95 inch LCD display that comes with its own charging speaker dock. The dock is where this tablet differentiates itself from others. It acts as a combination of a speaker and charging dock, as the name implies, allowing you to cast music or videos from another device, control your other smart home devices, and easily use Google Assistant. Again, we see the same Google Tensor G2 processor the Fold and 7a are using in the Pixel tablet. You have the option to choose between 128 gigs or 256 gigs of storage, and it comes with eight gigs of memory. The G2 processor enables fast streaming, high quality video calls, accurate voice to text typing, and several photo editing features like Magic Eraser or Photo on Blur. Speaking of cameras, the tablet has a front and rear camera that are both eight megapixels. You can get your hands on the Pixel tablet starting at $499 with deliveries beginning June 20th. Shifting gears, Google made sure to address the elephant in the room, artificial intelligence. Google has notably been at the forefront of artificial intelligence and machine learning models, but have notably fallen behind with the rise of ChatGPT. Today at I.O., Google spent a lot of time talking about the integration of AI into virtually all of its most important products, such as Search, Gmail, and Maps, to prove that they aren't going to be left behind. Some of the highlights included a much needed new and improved Bard, a brand new large language model, and a generative AI developer interface. 
Be sure to stick with ZDNet as we put all of these new devices and technology to the test in the coming weeks. Thank you so much for watching.